So, so in the case of molten sodium chloride, then by, by melting the sodium chloride, you're going to get the sodium and the chloride ions able to flow around, which is great because the, um, the negative chloride ions can go to the positive um, anode, positive electrode, and you can have the positive sodium ions go into the cathode. So nice, easy half equations. Now the anode, you've got two Cl minus plus, sorry, goes to two, uh, Cl2 plus two electrons. So it gets the electrons from, sorry, it gives the electrons to the anode. At the cathode, you've got the sodium um, adding, uh, collecting an electron and then producing neutral sodium. But it gets more complicated when you involve water. So when you dissolve it in water, it gets more complicated because we don't know if what's what's going to happen um, in each case because we've got inside the water before we even turned on the before we even turned on the battery we've got um, this water turning into H plus and OH minus and we've got the sodium chloride turning into Na plus and Cl minus so at the negative electrode the cathode we could have hydrogen going there or we could have sodium going there they're both positively charged so which one would it be then at the positive electrode, we could have either of these two. They're both negatively charged, so we don't know which one it's going to be. So the way to the rule to follow is to look at the um, the reactivities chart and see where how reactive the metal is in relation to hydrogen. Well, here's hydrogen down here, and sodium's all the way up there. So basically, all it's any of these metals are obviously more reactive than hydrogen. And if it's more reactive than hydrogen, then it would, if it's more reactive than hydrogen, then what would happen is the hydrogen would go to the electrode. So at, to, the, to the cathode. So the positive hydrogen would go to the cathode. So the, so the reaction at the cathode would be this, H plus, um, plus an electron minus goes to hydrogen gas and then we balance it so 2H plus plus 2 electrons goes to that that's what's happening at the um, cathode so the hydrogen is taken care of and then we just need to know well what's going to happen um, to the what's going to happen at the um, at this one here well um, for basically a way to a way to work a way to um, try to remember this bit is that if you've got you've now got the the sodium the sodium pairs up with the other negative electrode electron sorry sorry ion the other negative ion so these this is those two pair up which means you end up with this chloride ion so in fact let's do the let's do that one first so in so the reaction is going to be inside the um, inside the um, solution is going to be sodium sodium ion plus OH minus ion just simply join together to make this now you can see it's gonna it's not going to be an na2 or an OH2 or anything because it's just one to one the charges balance out so that's done so then we got um, let's now do the Cath uh, the anode. So what's happening at the anode, which is the positively charged one. Um, and because it's positively charged, it's going to attract the negative ion. Why does... So, um, so why do these pair up? It's a little bit unclear at this stage, but um, way to remember it is that, well, first of all, we know the hydrogen is going to go because the, the sodium is more reactive than the hydrogen. Um, so um, then you just say, well, the sodium is going to pair up with the other one as opposed to stay with itself. Just try to remember that for now. Uh, we'll look at the reason why later on. But so in which case the negative chloride ion is reacting, sorry, is going to, going to get rid of its electron at the anode to produce the regular chlorine, which is Cl2. Um, and that means we've got a balance there, which means we actually have to get rid of two electrons. So that's what's happening at the anode. Um, so 